All right, everyone, this is Falza. Everyone, this is my Stucker squad builder. I don't know why I chose this team. It just felt fun. I, I just like Bundesliga teams in general. But to start off, we are going to have Ulreich in goal. Really, really good keeper. I had no problems with him whatsoever. Um, 81 diving, 73 handling, 75 kicking. His kicking was amazing, by the way. Um, 83 reflexes. 74 positioning, no one cares about the speed. Great goal, he totally recommend him. At centre back, we had the Mexican Rodriguez. 65 pace, 77 defending, 76 hen. An overall decent centre back, didn't make too much impact because the other two centre backs were just. They were the main commanding officers, as you'd say. I guess in. Um, in five of the back formations, which I kind of love, especially 5 2 1 2, um, you tend to have two more dominant centre backs, and the left wing back seems to play a lot better than the right wing back, as happened in this team. But um, at right centre back, we had Niedermeyer, Niedermeyer, the most defensive of the three centre backs. His defence is amazing. Um, 71 pace, good pace there. Um, 75 defending, 76 heading, he was a rock at the back for me. Um, his heading really proved to be amazing and every corner he was there to head it out. But um, great centre back. Um, probably the second best of all my defenders at defending. Next centre back is ta ta Tasky, not Taxi. Right. This guy, 66 pace, 78 defending, 79 head, and this guy was amazing at attacking. Um, he was always the link between the defence and the centre mids when my left wing back wasn't there. Um, and even sometimes he went a step further, played through balls to the strikers who eventually scored from him. But this guy's amazing, attacking surprisingly. Um, another great centre back, I guess the two Germans in this cent in this um, defensive lineup were probably the best two there. Right wing back, which was a bit of nothing with Sakai, the Japanese guy. 77 pace, 74 shooting, 75 dribbling, 71 hand. Really good card stats, but they didn't really show in game. Right wing backs just don't like me. I don't know why. We picked him up for 2 grand 400, which was a bit of a waste of money, to be honest. He was probably like the worst player on my team, being honest. Um, Left wing back, we have Molinaro. Not Molinari, that's that's what I thought. But we picked him up for four grand eight hundred. He's a really, really good left back. His strength must be amazing. But um, he's got eighty four pace, seventy four passing, seventy four dribbling, seventy three heading, and it really does show his strength. Oh my god, his strength! Every run he went up the wing, he wouldn't get stopped except for one time, which was against Danny Alves. But that's the only right back he didn't get past. He's just amazing. He was. Probably the second best player in this team for me. Uh, onto the centre mid. First centre mid we have is Quist of Denmark, the only shiny gold player on this team, but um, probably not the best player in my opinion. Um, he got sent off I think twice for me, but um, I mean his long shots are really good. That's the main thing I'd pick out from him. 67 pace, 79 passing, 79 defending. Probably his main stats. His pace, his pace is a bit underrated, but I, I think that's fair to say. His passing was, his passing was adequate. Um, his defending you didn't really see because he was playing in centre mid rather than DM, where he's a natural. But um, an all right player. Um, next centre back, not centre back, centre mid. Probably a bit better was Kuzmanovic. Actually, a lot better. Card stats: 67 pace, 75 shooting, 77 passing. 69 dribbling, 75 defending, and 66 heading. So, I mean, everything's over 66, which isn't too bad. Um, the defending, you obviously didn't see again, but um, passing, shooting was um, absolutely amazing. Probably probably the best out of the two centre backs here. Centre back, centre mid, Jesus. Right, um, it's got a few screamers for me. I'm not sure if I recorded them, though. But um, this guy was really good. His pace feels more like 73, something like that, but um, really good player, Kuzmanovic. Really rate him. At centre forward, um, put up from a centre attacking midfielder, which doesn't cost too much, was Didavi. 
Always got his name wrong. Always. It's been everything except the Derby. But, um, 71 pace, 72 shooting, 70 passing, 75 dribbling, and the other two don't matter. This guy was really good at feeding the ball through to the strikers. Um, he linked up perfectly with, especially with the striker we had on the left. You can probably guess who it is, but, um, th this guy was really good. Not much else to say about him. Uh, right striker, we had Ibisevic. I always used to call him Ibisevic, but Ibisevic sounds... It sounds more right. But this guy, 75 shooting, 73 dribbling, 79 heading. He was really good. Even though his pace only says 66. I mean, it does feel like 66. You can tell it's 66. He is very slow. But um, his strength is really good. And his shot power, I could not believe. I mean, like, from really stupid positions, like, through goalies, le not goalies legs, through defenders legs, he'd just take a shot. It, it'd be, like, straight to goalie, but the goalie would palm it in the net because it's so powerful. This guy is really amazing. He was in my Bundes crapper team, which turned out really not to be crap. But um, this guy's a real good player. Probably the best player on my team, got to be honest, is Kakao. You probably saw him a minute ago, Kakao. I just said Kakao twice. 77 pace, 76 shooting, 78 dribbling, and 74 heading. Definitely the best player on this team, to be honest. I'm not... <sighs> to be honest, if he played like that, how he did for me in real life, he would just be phenomenal. I know he's a good striker anyway, but T was just amazing. He scored for 400 coins, he scored 9 goals in 6 games. I know I think Abisovic scored 6 in 6. This was all in the Gold Cup, so it was pretty good, but Kakao is fantastic. His pace, his pace is underrated. Most players don't really have accurate pace, like, when you actually play with them, I guess because the acceleration kind of changes the sprint speed a bit. Because you don't really get the range into the sprinting, but, um, I mean, amazing player, best in the team. So, overall, a very, very good team. Sakai was the only one you didn't really notice, and Rodriguez at centre back. But um, overall, best team I've played was still has been Wigan, but this came close. Five two one two proved to be amazing again. Um, this has been fouls. I hope you enjoy this footage, and hopefully you've noticed that I've put the teams I played against like before the actual footage from that match. It gives you a bit of perspective to the teams I'm actually playing, but um. Thanks everyone, I do hope you enjoy the footage.
You may have guessed and you may have loved the new graphics, even though, okay, okay that was sarcasm if you didn't get that. But, um, star player for this episode is Kakao. Um, as you can see, his, ah, uh, he's just, a, I, I, I'm just overwhelmed. His, his average price on everything, to be honest, is like, stupid low. I don't know how it's 314 on PS3, cause that's just, that's just stupid. But, um, just an amazing player, it's such a low price, even, even if he is known or a, 
But um, 78 acceleration, 82 jumping, 76 reaction, 77 sprint speed, the highlights from the physical section. Even though everything in physical is relatively good. Um, mental, no, uh, uh, yeah, again, no one cares about mental. Ball control, 77 curve, 77, 80 dribbling, 77 finishing, 80 long shots, 79 shot power, 74 short passing, and 74 volleys are the highlights from the skill section, and he's just a great player. Obviously, not good at defensive or even the not all the long pass and stuff, but you'd expect that from a striker, and he's just fantastic. Three star skills, three star weave foot, not the best of that, but um. Got a high attack and work rate. He's right footed and he's pretty tall too. So um, I would recommend anyone to get him to an all star weight. No, 179 centimeters isn't tall, is it? It's tall compared to me, alright? Anyway, this has been Falza. I hope you've enjoyed it with the new the new um, intro. And I think I've kind of wasted the star player thing. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you some other time.